this is the kind of thing that I like to find. This is a birch leaf, but it's not an ordinary birch leaf, because this is a birch leaf that's had history. It's had an interaction with another species. But it wasn't recent. This was going back to the spring. I always like it when we get to the latter part of the summer and indeed into the autumn and you can find things like this. Quite often the leaf can be yellow and naturally falling off the tree as they are now in the second part of August 2025. But this is a leaf, as I mentioned, with a history, almost an altercation you could say really, because these round holes, of which there are two together there, were made in the spring and they were made by caterpillars. The caterpillars of a micromoth called Incuvaria pectinea. It's not too difficult to say. It's very common, at least in the Sherwood area and wherever there's sort of birch woodland in Nottinghamshire, this species or these signs of this species is likely to be found. Say so sometimes you can find leaves with a lot more circular holes on than this particular leaf and the leaf say was made by the caterpillar of Incavaria pectinea when it's more extreme and there's a lot more sort of circular cut out holes it looks a bit better than just what five holes as we've got here but the female Incavaria pectinea comes along f selects or finds a suitable birch leaf lays a number of eggs on anything from two or three up to about 20 odd. I've seen leaves that are just like a paper doily to be honest there's so many holes in them but the holes rarely touch this one has surprised me but those eggs hatch into caterpillars and the caterpillars mine the leaves they make a small circular mine and then they cut it out and they cut it out and drop to the floor and that cut out leaf with the lava housed in between and perfectly sealed in apart from one entrance drops to the floor and the caterpillar then feeds on various leaf litter that it finds there's a number of species that do this kind of thing make a cut out and then drop to the floor and continue their life cycle but I do like these little leaves that have an interesting story to them story which took place months ago now this would have been probably April when the eggs hatched out early May at the latest and here we are at the end of August and still can see exactly what happened to this leaf and why it's got five circular holes in it. Sometimes you only have to look and find the clues and then you can work out what's happened, who did it and where. <laughs>